John Davidson here with Springworks Equipment Group. Let's get ready for another episode of Fix It Friday. John Davidson here, and this is your Fix It Friday. Today we're going to discuss replacing the upper air gasket. A good indicator that your upper air gasket is going bad would be air being displaced out the center of the air piston during the downstroke. In order to remove the upper air cylinder, first disconnect the air, allow the air to exhaust completely. Turn counterclockwise. This may require a strap wrench as the air cap does get tight, but be sure not to apply too much pressure and dent the cylinder. Okay, in order to get access to the upper air gasket, these three Allen screws will need to be removed. Do not try to remove the center nut as it's Loctited to the brass exhaust valve beneath. Before replacing the gasket, be sure to inspect the seat area so it doesn't have any grooves or unnecessary debris in it. You want to keep these relatively smooth. A great cleaner is WD-40. Pretty much it would take off any grime buildup that's occurred within the air motor. Once you remove it, just be sure not to spin the air piston as these holes need to be lined up with the bottom plate in order for the screws to go back in properly. Go ahead and Put the new gasket on, simply place this down, and you'll notice that the, line, the Allen heads will again align up just fine. Making sure you go to good and tight. Once you've tightened the Allen screws, apply a little bit of grease, not too much, as too much grease can just cause issues, but enough to keep it loose. Now, there's debates on what types of grease, you know, I just recommend getting loop on the piston and it'll let you know how good the grease is by how well it's serviced. When you put the air cap back on, May take your fingernail around the lip of the seal and apply some downward pressure not to not to cut the seal. 